Hello and welcome to a brand new first look. It is Overcrowd, a commuter map, something I've had my eye on early, early, early in early access. <laughs> Say early one more time. It's a cute game, but the author of this game says it best. Don't be fooled by the cute pixel art. Yes, do not. You'll take the tutorial and you'll think you've got this. It teaches you the basics, which is fine by me. Well, learning the hard way is something I was used to growing up playing the Spectrum. Games on there were brutal, to say the very least, and had a, a steep learning curve, but rewarding once you got the hang of it. Very similar to Overcrowd. In the background, you should see one of my later stations uh, deep into the game. Do not fear. We'll be playing a brand new network from the start with the network sandbox. Uh, you can do individual stations and there is a commute of the day challenge. Daily challenges, single stations or complete networks. Lots of options, lots of replayability. The soundtrack, beautiful as it is, lovely chip tunes. I do like those by Mystic Toaster and there's a couple in there by uh, Alastair McQueen. It's developed by Square Play Games. Two people involved, Sarah Testori. Oh, I don't know whether you've got your name right there. And uh, Alistair, as I mentioned earlier. As mentioned before, I'll take you through the generation for a new network. There are plenty of options to customize it. You can have infinite money, so a true sandbox mode and various difficulty settings and uh, network size. The one we're going to play is the smallest. There we go. There is small normal and large large is massive it'll keep you entertained for hours weeks perhaps uh small because we probably won't get to see much of it and if it does turn into a series then it won't last for around five years even at a video a day it would last for an eternity which is great for a game now if you're interested in playing the very same map i'm about to the seed you want is grand youtube as always, my naming conventions are very straightforward. This is small. Everything else is left as default, I believe. Yes, all left as default. So there you go. That's if you want to play the exact same map that I am. But anyway, here we are in our generated. This is the small map, the small network. As you can see, you start off with two zone fives. If you're not familiar with the London Underground, they're usually towards the outskirts of London. There are further zones than that, I believe, up to Zone 9. There might be more. Uh, but yes, we're Zone 5 is our furthest out. One of these will be Zone 1. You can rename your zones if you go here. I'm going to. What I've chosen is the Metropolitan Line and the northern line this one here going in to uh, king's cross this is going to be spoilers if we ever get there is going to be edgeware and that's the northern line this here which is currently puddington lane and waterbank shelf is going to be the metropolitan yes there we go so we'll rename this as edgeware and we'll rename this one as North Harrow. There we go. They're the two zone fives that I've got for those two lines. Now, I've not found any way once we're in game to change the line colors. Before we head off and start our first station, you can lose. I took the tutorial, thought I was just going to cheese this, and I failed miserably. So there you go. Don't be afraid to fail, though. Maybe my video will help. I don't know. We'll find out. We could fail. It's forgiving though. You can go back in and resume. Here is what you start with. We're at Edgeware. Obviously, it's not going to be a recreation. Due to the way that the scenery is randomly generated, you'd have to get an ideal uh, randomization seed to perfectly recreate it. I guess there are things you could do, such as turning off scenery. That might be what turns off the water. I thought we'd have a little bit of a challenge as far as that goes and leave that on. We can't just build where we want. There's stuff here, the water, 
We can't build there. Uh, this is what you start with, though. This is a basic station area. We can go up to four floors down. However, since we're at uh, Zone 5, it's an above-ground station. Uh, we don't need to go underground just yet. There are several things to take into consideration later on in the game. It gets a little bit trickier. But for now, it's nice and simple. We have parallel tracks here uh, where we can put our platforms. And that's where we'll start. It looks like you have a lot of money. Well, I guess we're building a station in the great scheme of things. 12,000 quid isn't a lot of money. But uh, in the game, it's balanced about right, I would say. Don't get carried away. You could go broke early on. So to get started, uh, if we look up to the top right here, we have a to-do list. Build one platform before you finish. We have Brindle Street and Carnival Street over here. These are the two places where our people are going to come from onto our line and obviously where they're going to exit when people get off. We have the red line and the orange line. These seem to be randomized every time we come in. Uh, I don't know whether you can change the colors. That would not be... What would the red line be? Central? I'm not sure. No. It's circle. And the orange line. Is there even an orange line? That would be an overground, wouldn't it? Wouldn't kind of makes sense. Uh, but yes, we've got the red line, orange line. We'd obviously need black and purple for our uh, this one being black. Should we get building? First off, infrastructure. We're going to get us a platform. Everything's very intuitive. The tutorial will take you through all of this. What we need to do, though, is set which side of the platform people will be getting on. We're just going to concentrate on one side, one platform, one entrance. I don't know whether that's the best way to do it. You could run out of money fairly quickly. We can remove this area if we do get a bit short on cash. I would love to change the color of this. I don't know whether you can. No, I don't think you can. It would be great, wouldn't it? We could make this the black line then. Next thing we need to do is connect this up here. Uh, you have to build off existing floor. You can't just start building there, for instance. Everything has to connect. Which in itself is a game mechanic, isn't it? It limits your building. I'm going to utilize this area. Probably have our staff rooms down the bottom here. And we're going to go across there. How much does that cost us? Probably a small fortune. There we go. We started off with 12,000 12, pounds and now we're down to 8.6k. Didn't take long, did it? No. We probably want to leave a bit of expansion space. I'm going to put the staff room, which is very important. I've had that become a big issue early on. Then we're going to leave a couple of spaces for expansion. The staff room will expand that way. And we'll have that there. That will be where we keep our tools. And this here will be where we keep our, again with two spaces, our utilities. So that's that done. Now we need to set those rooms up. So our tool room is going to be in the middle here. Again, just designating floor space as a room will cost you extra money. So there's another 450 quid down the drain. Well, not down the drain, it's investment, isn't it? Definitely investment. Uh, our staff room is going to be out there. Look at that, lovely little floors. So you can tell them apart. And then we're going to leave the control room alone for now. It's a bit pricey. I've probably not left enough room here. Although if it's staff only, we might be able to get away with... In fact, we could, couldn't we? Right, I sold that. I think we get the full refund back for it. And what I wanted to do is just make this staff room one shorter so we don't have any issues down there. We still need the utility room. This is where you place all your gubbins. Gubbins? The much needed power. And uh, I believe the waste goes in here as well. But yes, yeah, so that's the basic setup almost. Next, we're going to need some facilities, including a ticket machine uh, to board the underground. We're going to need trash cans as well. Uh, this is where I'm going to have our turnstile, I think. One there. And then the exit this side. And if we go back to infrastructure, we can add fences in so they don't skip the, uh, the turnstile there. And then we can send that up like that and cordon it off. Oop, 
I don't know how to turn off uh, edge scrolling. I like to use the middle mouse button to scroll the map around. Anyway, it might be in there somewhere. So if anybody knows, drop a comment, please. Back to building our basics. We've got the ticket machine. What else do we need to do? There is a few things we need to do before we can... Oh, yes, we need an entrance. Uh, infrastructure entrance goes up here. You can use right mouse button to rotate it. As you can see, our money is is going down rapidly. There is a checklist somewhere for stuff you need to build. <laughs> the little tool tips up there will tell you what's going wrong if you've forgotten to do anything. So this is going to be our entrance to P1, platform one. There we go. Uh, you can toggle the direction if you want it to go the other way. If we come out there, you can see it's pointing that way. This one is going to be the exit. And uh, that's that. There we go. So they come in here once they brought the ticket and they exit out there and filter around there and out the station. There are several bonuses and things if you look in the to-do list up here, which we can drag into the middle. I don't think we can resize it, but you can move it around. Uh, so build one platform before you finish, which we've just done. We haven't opened it yet, though. Build one entrance and hit the footfall target for them and keep the which is this, I guess. That will probably be set once we open the station, unless I'm missing it. But yes, we've got things to do there. As you can see, bonuses. There we go. Open your station to the public will give us a thousand pounds in grants. All of these give us bonus money, which keeps you ticking over and allows you to expand. These are our bonds, which we're going to need probably immediately because you're limited early on on what you can place. Now, trash cans, important. They will uh, reduce your reputation rapidly if there is a ton of trash lying around. We'll put one there. These are plus signs on the floor. You can see whether they overlap. The white ones are existing and the green is your new area. As you can see, they've got quite a bit of coverage on them. You don't need to go too crazy with them. Uh, that should about cover it. We do really want a couple on the platform itself, don't we? And you can use E and Q. Q and E. Why did you say it that way around? Q and E to rotate that. Uh, it's a bit, it's a tiny platform. We've got to fit chairs and all sorts in here. I guess if we put them out the way up here, do we? Oh, there we go. We'll creep them in there and in there. That should cover the platforms then quite nicely. Utilities. We will need a generator or two or three or four to power all of our goodies that we're putting in. This is your fuel. Uh, as you can see, the room for expansion here. And we can extend these rooms later on. When these run out, they can fill them up with jerry cans via these. These store uh, extra fuel for your day to day running. Now, this is all we've got at the moment. We will take a look at our procurement, our procurement words there's a plane in the background could have had this as heath row and anyway as you see we've got no tools yet we can put down we've got no commerce just yet and we've got no amenities for our staff which you're going to need early on otherwise if your staff get tired that's it i found it's pretty much game over anyway have we got everything the basics done i think we have we're good to open our station should we do it should we open our station finally we click on there there we go shutter control it's currently closed ah here's the checklist i knew it was in here somewhere if you click on the entrance it has a checklist entrance is powered you need a track to open two turnstiles built one exit one entrance uh ticket machine built and directional signage configured there we go and this is what this station has uh, the sort of behavior of the staff plenty of money not overly grumpy and not overly uh, trashy. That's that's not what you would call them. That. They're, they're not going to throw trash around too much. <laughs> trashy? That means something else, doesn't it? Anyway, let's open it up. We got uh, 2,000 in bonds because we opened up our station and met all the needs. But we should spend some of these procurement points and hire us some staff. Uh, we've only got a selection of two. He's good with people. Uh, Ethan is good with people. 47% there. 
refuge. So Noah is probably going to be our trash man, our garbage collector, mostly. We don't deal with medical at the moment, but we're going to have to hire these guys and get them working. We'll place them out separate, no doubt. And we'll get you out over there. There we go. Maybe maybe over here. This is their, their range. When you click on them, you can see how far they'll reach. And if you right-click them, there we go. Their attributes are strength, speed, stamina, perception, current health. They do have needs, which is why we're going to need the... Uh, the Come on, how have you forgot what staff room is? There we go, staff room. We're going to need the staff room sorted. We need a train in. We'll do that first. You have to click this. It's part of the game. It can catch you out. Sometimes I've left a train sitting outside of the station for the longest of time. But yes, we are going to need to sort out all the things here. What's going on? What are people grumbling about? I can hear them grumbling. Can't afford. Right. We can change the price of tickets. I'm going to drop it down a couple of quid. It will help with our rating here. It's gloomy. Right. That's our first need. We need to sort out. And if we go into procurements. Procurements. <laughs> I'm going to stumble over that all the time. We can get some lighting. Procure that. Procure that. Yes, and then we go into utility, not utilities, facilities. It rhymes. Right, get the training first. And we'll start adding some lighting in here so that they're not unhappy and think that it's a gloomy station. One there. And you can see it's the same thing with the overlap. We can get one in there. You want them spaced out as much as possible as uh, you've got to power these things and they cost a fortune to power we'll have another one on the platform here and possibly one down this way yeah that should do there we go we've got some lighting a little less gloomy before we get going we're going to have to fill up these at some point from here to, to there and to do that we're going to need to unlock some of the tools we're going to need those later but we'll do them in order uh where are the tools tools is what you need grand toolkit very important we have 11 bonds available now we're going to need a jerry can that's what you need to fill up your generators and we're going to need a litter picker which will pick up any trash on the floor right we'll start with that and get those up and running so tools we're going to place our jerry cans in here. We'll have two. One for each member of staff that we've got. Toolkit will have one for now. Uh, litter picker will have two. There we go. I believe you can rename them. Long time members of the channel. We've got room for two. So I'm going to go wobbly, wobbly boater. Of course, you see his name at the uh, start of videos. But since I can remember, since I started, so we'll rename you Wobbly Boater. We'll rename Noah to Watford Trebor. There we go. Perfect. We've got Boater and Trebor. Wobbly and Watford. We got a train come in there. Our trash, our trash, guys. We need to set this. Let's hit pause. We're going to set up what they do. For a living. Right. Watford. What do you do? What are you good at? Off the bat. Refuge. There we go. You are going to be prioritizing by picking up litter. Uh, secondary. You can do that. And last of all. You can uh, pick some stuff. Now. What about Wobbly? What are you good at? Wobbly. is good with people and medical. Well we don't deal with any of those. So we'll get you primarily fixing things picking up trash maybe and then last of all filling up those so there we go we'll do it like that perfect now they should go and work and start to pick up their goodies I like so there we go they're off to work they're picking up their stuff they need to empty these trash cans otherwise people are gonna be grumpy did I forget to call that train it's rush hour which isn't good how many points do we have 10 we have 10 points there. Procurement. 
Early on, I'm going to do this. It costs us three bonds. That means our next train that pulls in will have two carriages and we can shift people much quicker. I'm also going to unlock the bench. That's going to be needed. Uh, what else do we need in here? A wheelie bin will be required for our trash cans. So we'll get that done straight away so they don't complain. We'll spin that around like that. And we'll put a couple in. Couple in. They get filled up quite quickly. All in the other train. There we go. We have two carriages now. You can zoom in. Take a look at your people. I love the I love the aesthetic. It's, the artwork is lovely. It is beautiful. Right, there's all our people. They obviously cannot get on. That means it's overcrowded, the name of the game. And boy, does it get crazy at times. So you've got to keep on top of it. Um, what was that? What was that we just got? Built minimum number of stations. If we scroll down here, there we go. We have uh, three ticks. We've earned 3,000 quid. What we need to do is start unlocking some staff room amenities. I believe that's what they're called. Yes, amenities. I'm just double checking. We've got everything we need. No more applicants just yet. Uh, thresholds you can mess around with as well. There's loads of things to tweak. This game is in depth. Uniforms come later on, so you can have specialists. I do like that. And then off shift is really cool, which I'll show you when we go to the, another station. Right, you forgot about your train again, Grand. You're terrible. I've got to get used to the noises. It's been a little while since I played. I did test it out thoroughly, as you saw at the beginning, with my crazy station there. But uh, yes, what do we need? Facilities, facilities, amenities. We need to procure some amenities. And that will be a comfy chair. One bond. They don't cost much to unlock. And then the vending machine. So they've got all their needs seen to. Right. So let's go and place those in there. We've got two members of staff. So we'll put a chair each. We also need a vending machine so they can have some snacks and we'll need a water cooler so that they can have a little drink when they're thirsty what else do we need to do right power let's check the power as you can see we are draining our power reserves we're not powering enough which will make them grumpy so we're going to need to stick in another generator unfortunately it's it's night time oh i think it's time we've got money in the bank so i think it's time for us while it's night time you can skip forward skip to dawn once the station is empty if you don't want to do anything overnight but what i think we should do is get the benches in and what else plants we're going to need plants to make it look nice for them otherwise they'll get grumpy i think we'll leave everything else for now we're good i don't want to spend too much money the staff only zone is quite nice uh, once you're did we, did we get the watering can? We did not. We're going to have to get that as well to go with our plants. The megaphone might get that. Might get that. Newspaper stand. Yes, let's start our commerce. And we'll get advertising to go with that. There we go. So we'll we'll spend some of this money we've earned. We'll let these guys uh, tidy up, fix things, as you can see. I let things get out of control. If you zoom in here, you can see Mr. Wobbly here. He failed his first attempt, but they gain experience, your little people who are working here, as they do a task. So their bar will fill up and they'll get uh, more proficient at the things they're assigned to do and then are doing. This is all toxic fumes. It tends to be a bit like this to start off with. Especially if you're waffling on and recording YouTube videos. But anyway, shall we get the facilities in before we open up again? I'm going to have a couple of benches in the middle here and leave enough room. I think that should do us. There we go. Some seating there. Some seating down there. Uh, not there. Along this wall looks good. I'll have a few benches down here. One there as well. And I think a couple there. Yeah, that should do, shouldn't it? Don't want them too close to the entrance. Well, we could move you, couldn't we? Mr. Wobbly, just go over there for a second. 
And then if you hold down, you can move these. Oh, no, Wobbly's in the way. We need to move you over here, Mr. Wobbly. Uh, why won't that go in? Do not build on or edit containing staff flags. Who has a flag there? I don't know. I don't know. Where's your flag? There. Where's your flag? There. Can I rotate that? There we go. There we go. It just hadn't repathed. That's fine. Three benches are on there. Either side. What else do we need? We need some plants, don't we? Let's get some plants in to beautify it a little bit. One next to the, the trash can there. To uh, hide how terrible the trash is. As it's probably going to get like that. We'll have one there. As you can see, again, the pluses are in green for the new areas we're going to be seeing too. And then the white are the existing areas. Uh, probably one here. Yeah, one there is perfect, isn't it? And... Can we have one over this side? Are we missing any up here? We are really, aren't we? Perhaps next to the bench would be nice. There we go. One next to the bench there. And then we need one over here. Maybe move the trash can over there. I think that's fine. Has that got about everywhere? I think so. I think we're good. All right, there we go. We're opening again. It's another day. I'm going to not call the train in because there's no one to get on board just yet. Do we need to do anything else? Yes, we're going to need the watering can. Tools. Watering can in here. There we go. We'll have a couple. And we'll need to assign these guys that as a job. Ooh, you can be number two and you can... You? <laughs> Wobbly will have at number two, and Watford Treeball will have number one. Uh, he can do uh, the litter and the watering. There we go. Schedules, you can change all this. Currently, we have them on auto. Threshold, I think if you put this up at night, it helps them rest immediately when it comes to the station being closed. Right, we have a few people on the platform. Let's call in the train. I mean, people do get off. We have a quick look here. You can zoom in and out. I love it. Oh, yes. We don't have the advert. People are asking for newspapers. So we need a newspaper stand. And where can we put that? Commerce. Let's put our newspaper stand in. Then we'll put some ads in as well. We'll put that there. Ticket machine. I don't think you can name the people who work there. As someone's grumpy about something. Possibly. I don't know who. Oh, they've, they've taken a break. Look at that. That's good timing. We have no staff working. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, yes, newspaper ads. We'll put them either side of the entrance and possibly one on the exit. One on the entrance to the platform. And yes, yeah, I think that will be good enough for some, some advertising. There, go get your newspapers, guys. We'll flip this round. Which way round was how we started? Is this is no, that's not it. Oh, we need to bring in a new train. There we go. Which way round was it? It was, I want to say, that way. Yes, that's the way round it was, wasn't it? Eh, it looks a bit different from this angle, but this is where we started, I think, looking this way. Our money's running a bit short. That will change, I think, now that we've got our advertising. You can see these bars filling up. Every time people walk by and see these, uh, the little bar fills up and then you get some money after it. If we click on our money here, this is Zone 5, Edgeware. Uh, commuters shifted, 94. Oh, was that the target? We need 100 commuters shifted is our first target. So we're almost there. Uh, we've only spent one day, seven hours. That's in game time. There's our income and earnings. We'll get to see more of that later on. Total outgoings, 15.5k. Goodness me. We are making more than we're spending, though. So that's a good thing. Oh, there we go, guys. Perfect way to end the first episode. One star. We are going to continue playing this map just for a little bit. I think we could squeeze two stars out of this before we move to our other zone five. I'm going to go zone five. You need quite a bit of uh 
you need plenty of unlocks and staff once you get into the the uh, you need quite a bit of you'll need plenty of staff early on with the with the zones closer to the, the centre of London I'm good I say London could be anywhere couldn't it I'm, I'm saying London though because it's very much the underground isn't it it's very tube stationy but yeah so I want to work on that get us plenty of staff ready you get to take your staff on to the next station but that's been my first look we've got our station all set up we've done plenty of unlocks we'll unlock everything before we move on um regardless of whether we use them yet and we'll just make sure this this station at edgeware is purring along anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it a lot still to do and it could still go very very wrong but that's been overcrowd possibly another episode before the weekend or at the weekend and uh, yeah this is how it's going to be for december Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. And until next time, take care.